The seventh symphony is grand on a scale that sometimes is hard to imagine. It's planetary. And the things that we know the most and understand the least are waves. We live with them, sound waves, water waves, but we can't really define them. We don't know where they start and where they end. Because any movement has this kind of rhythmical patterns that repeats over and over again. But instead of becoming boring, becomes even more reinvigorating. So the first movement is an exploration of waves, and they're not necessarily even water waves, but they are relentless. The second movement of the seventh is probably my favorite movement. It doesn't stop. We continue to move onward and onward and onward, and I don't know if we're going for the gold that is the background, or the large circle or the small circle, but we cannot help to descend. It's something that stays in your mind and your heart forever. The creation of this kind of world. You want not to escape. Whereas the third movement is silver, it's a little bit more tinny on the teeth. And there are these odd little crystalline creatures that are growing, they're taking over. It's almost as if it went on any longer that that would take over the entire work of art. So the main circle that is floating is now just a piece of all these weird crystalline figures. And by the time you get to the fourth movement of the seventh symphony, I have no clue what is going on. And so I painted that. You cannot resist, you want more, you want more, you want more. Beethoven can really play with our sense and emotions.